Hi Brett from WPSites.net. Let's take a look at how to add coloured content boxes to any WordPress theme. Um, I'm using the Genesis theme framework and a StudioPress theme, but you don't need to use this uh, theme or this framework to be able to use this code. It will work on any theme and it's very, very simple to, uh, to, to, to get working. Uh, there's a little bit of code here that you place uh, within wherever you want to display the content box that can be in your text editor, your HTML editor, in your, in your uh, edit post screen or edit page screen so you can add the co content boxes to posts, to pages, you can add them anywhere in WordPress so you'll need to put a little bit of code where you want to uh, display the box and you can put anything within the box as well, you can put uh, images you can put links, HTML, whatever you like. There's a big chunk of code you'll need a copy uh, from the studiopress.com website. There's a link below this video which will go uh, directly to this post where you can just simply copy and paste this code. So I've copied it there and you'll also find uh, the code for creating coloured buttons as well. So just follow that link below the video. Um, now I've copied that code, I'll paste it into uh, the default theme, the 2012 default theme for WordPress and just show you how it works. So we'll go to Appearance, we'll go to Editor, I'm in the Style Sheet, style.css file, so whatever theme you're using, make sure you're in the style.css file and preferably the child theme, not the parent theme. It doesn't make a lot of difference. The only difference is when you update the parent theme, if you've added any code to it, it will be overwritten and you will lose it. So try to add it to your child theme. And we go down to the very bottom of your child theme, uh, sorry, the, the very end of the style.css file, and we just paste that code in there. <coughs> and you can see the code here. You can see the border width is one pix. You can actually change that if you like. So you can make, uh, you can make the borders uh, thicker here they're pretty thin you can see there you can change the color of them and make them thicker uh, and you can also change the color of the the box you've got the uh, border color here and you've got the background color and you can use a HTML uh, hex color code chart and and customize these to exactly the color you want so we've, we'll place the, this into the child themes style.css file we'll update that so that's the code there and this little bit of code here just copy and paste this I basically just keep that code in notepad on my desktop I keep it in there so when I want to add colored boxes I just copy and paste it directly out of there and just change the color so let's go into a page add new page and we'll title this add colored content boxes in WordPress themes. We'll go into the text editor, it may be called the HTML editor in your, if you're using an older version of WordPress and we just paste that code in. We can change this text, uh, this is the content within the content box, uh, the text we can change that, we can add links, we can do whatever we like. So let's just save that. We'll publish this. This is on a demo site. We'll view the page and the color hasn't come up there. Why is that? And there you go. There's the, there's the colored content box. This is a blue color. The reason it didn't show up immediately was because I needed to clear the catch. So depending on which uh, browser you're using, you can delete the browsing history. And, uh, and after I did that it showed up so it's very easy to put different types of content within this colored content box and it's a really great way to highlight uh, different content on your site. If you want to place a link in there that's really easy you can just highlight the text that you want to link and just place a link in there. So I'll just put in, uh, put in a URL in there, update view page and you can see there's a link in there so there's lots of sort of things you can put in there you can put any type of content in there and uh, you'll find all the code for the uh, colored content boxes 
as well as the coloured buttons and it's exactly the same uh, process to add the coloured buttons on the studiopress.com website and I've put a link directly to that uh, that code at the bottom of this video. Uh, that's it folks, uh, thanks for watching, cheers, see you next time.